Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Cryptic Gaming's Banished Souls. Hope you've been having a wonderful day. We're playing Skull and Bones. So, we got our update last night. Um, I know that it, for some of us, was a disappointment. And, of course, we we posted a video up last night. And we received some pretty good input. That was what the basis of that thumbnail and even the content was. To see how you're feeling about the game at this point in the mid-season. So, wow. I understand that a lot of people just want to hear only good news about games. And then there's the, the people who only want to focus on bad news about games. I'm going to bring you an honest review. So, starting off, is Skull and Bones worth purchasing today? Absolutely. It's 33% down in value uh, as far as what it's going to cost you. They've had a 33% in, in uh, the drop charge. So, yeah, that's going to be great. It's going to be cheaper for you to pick up. The base game is amazing. A lot of really good storylines in there. A lot of good progression stuff. But where it seems to be stalling right now at least in my opinion i'm going to give you my honest opinion because that's what i started this channel for give you honest opinions of games when you hit the end game it starts pretty nice because you're opening those weapons that other people don't have you're opening those armors that other people don't have you're grinding to progress your ship but you hit a stagnation point where there's no new material to, to grind out right now we have Four ship classifications, really three ships that are really worth using in PvP type aspects or even a lot of the end game aspects. Uh, what we need to see is weapon upgrades, ship hull upgrades, stuff like that. Uh, but what we're seeing is just more cosmetic drops. I, I did not come to Skull and Bones to just get cosmetics. It's great to grind those out. And when I mean grind out, we had to open like almost 90, maybe even you know, over 100 of those uh, Mangoden boxes. That's how many times we had to farm this thing out. We're not talking about the extra boxes that drop. We're talking about the main box that drops one box at the end of the battle. We've opened over 100 of those. That's where we ended up getting our red cells. We ended up getting our, our uh, black hole. And uh, we ended up getting these, these emblem, uh, or not the emblem, but the patterns and stuff. So great aspect for those. It boasts, hey, I've been up here. I've been grinding. I've been working hard, and I got it. Well, now we're going to see where those drop rates are just going to start increasing so anybody can get them. So what's going to set your ship apart from everything on the water is if you go and you buy money or you spend actual real world money in the store for a cosmetic piece that everybody else is going to be able to buy too. So not real happy about that aspect of the game. I want to see personal progression, not not trying to draw people in because if you could draw a lot of players in that's cool that's great that's awesome it's going to increase the player base even more uh but what's going to happen is you're going to start seeing your your player base the, of the people who have been grinding this game since the open beta start to dwindle off and i'm seeing that myself uh not that we have people living leaving our discord community we are adding new games into it in fact which is good the reason we're adding new games into it is because we want to keep everybody together and not see our discord go away of many games and many discords before it where it's based off just one game and what i'm seeing is people are starting to move away from the game as far as a daily grinder to maybe once a week maybe once every couple weeks a lot of times now people have got it figured out now we're just come in you get a big update cool new material grind it for a day or two come back two weeks later uh, they're not really concerned about collecting eights because i mean I, i'm definitely not one to be saying oh yeah i've got like more eights than i'll ever need i mean we're sitting at 669,839 of those eights which is good that's over half a million but there's guys that are you know upward of six seven eight nine and higher million of those eight so yeah i can understand why they've, they've moved on to some some new grind stuff and keeping the game review honest man we've reached a critical juncture at this in this game right now uh, i believe because we're seeing some of our more dedicated pirates drifting off to other games at this point because it's not got that attention lock that it originally had we've ran out of stuff to do yeah there's plenty of stuff to do but We've got ran out of stuff to do for our personal progression is what I'm, I'm getting at. You have to get personal progression items that's not going to cost you money for a cosmetic piece. We want to be able to build our ships to be able to upgrade our weaponry and things like that. So that's kind of what last night's video was about. Seemed like there was a few people that 
were a little little slightly miffed that I didn't just come in and just give high praises on it. Uh, you know, hot or flop is what I wrote in there. It's a question for you. I want to know. Did they did did you feel like they uh, basically just kind of like forgot about the the heavy grind players? That was the question on the thumbnail. And uh, it's not for clickbaity stuff, guys. That's what I was accused of. I wanted honest opinions, and we got a lot of really good honest opinions from people that have been commenting in since this game released. We started streaming about love the game, wish they'd do some more stuff, gameplay's feeling stagnant. We're at the top end. If you're not at the top end, you don't know where we're talking about. But unless they start releasing new material, you're going to be right here with us going, well, now what? Uh, you can continue to grind, which is what we do, trying to bring up those infamy levels, bring up those coin levels to sovereigns and stuff, bring in our silver, build our kingdom. But unless you bring an aspect in at some point that, okay, because you've been working hard, dedicated at this, you're going to get it. I'm just, I'm, I'm not seeing it. And, and uh, that's not to say that it's not coming. I, I, I believe it will. But we're at a critical juncture right now. You will reach this with any new... Uh, role play game that's mass multiplayer uh, people want to set themselves apart from the crowd meaning they want to get in we we have a firm understanding of the game and we want to jump in and grind out and have the best ship on the sea and right now we're not being given that option so how do you get to that point well you can start selling packs dlcs or whatever they call it micro transactions i hope to never see that in this game uh, because it's more fun to grind your way to a top position than it is to just go in and buy it but those are my opinions i know everybody has a different opinion on it so i'm over here i've been hunting this thing for the last two hours there is a new ship that we will need to destroy and it is a forest ship from what it sounds like so it should have red cells and it is something that is dedicated toward dealing with dmc ships in the storyline, they're kind of ruling the area, taking over. So it's to destroy those, but it's more geared toward taking out those those uh, pestilence fleets. So that's something we're looking at. How do we get it to spawn? How do we get it to pop? <coughs> right now, that's the big question for me. Uh, I had talked to a couple of guys in our Discord earlier today, and they said they managed to get it. And they said the way that they've done it was to come in and farm any forest ship that they could find. And that's something else when you're bringing a map up. It's like throwing your cursor way over in some random areas. They need to fix that. That's been going on since the 1.3 update. It still hasn't been fixed, unfortunately. Hopefully, that's going to get fixed pretty soon. Um, it seems, and like I say, just being honest about the reviews, we're getting more bugs than we are fixes. They come in to fix something, and it causes two more bugs. Now, understand ubisoft is in a point of transition they are trying to get a handle on developers and programmers and stuff like that they have basically just been doing a really bad job that's why you're reading about so many layoffs over there it's not because ubisoft fixed go out business they're trying to get a hold of their gaming industry because they've had they've had a few games that had a really good strong start and then they're failing the gaming communities uh, the people that they put in positions to release new content to keep it interesting, keep it fresh, keep you coming back, keep that factor of, man, I can't wait to get off work today, grab that controller and get on this game, or you're going to bed going, man, maybe just one more hour of grind. You know, those are the types of games that gamers are looking for, and that's what this game started as. But once you reach in game, you're going to feel, unless they do something, it's going to get stagnant for you guys. Elite Captain nearby, watch the throne. That's not what we're looking for. But this is a forest ship, which is something we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and destroy him. See if we can't get that ship, the Majara. Bez Majara. I don't know, guys. I can't pronounce these things, man. I'll have to get with our guys uh, that speak French and stuff like that. They're usually pretty good at, at pronouncing these things. But just kind of hunting around for this. But I hope you've enjoyed the content so far. We're going to be adding some new content in. So we're going to be looking at some uh, some new release games here pretty soon. But also, uh, we're going to be adding in content now. Because like I said, in our Discord group, we have guys that get on every day. And they'll grind for hours and hours and hours on this game. And then we have the guys that come in, they'll grind for three or four hours with us, do some farming raids. And then they move on to... to uh, the big one right now is Helldivers 2, so that's something I uh, definitely want to get in. I mean, this game, that game had piqued my interest. It required, you know, changing out to a new console and stuff for me, but that's going to be worth it in the long run because I do, I, I always am the PlayStation guy. 
Uh, I've only had a couple of Xboxes in my life, and that was mainly because that's what family was using. So we're moving back toward PlayStation and and getting those exclusives that they have there as well. So we will continue featuring Banished Souls on this on this channel. So don't worry about that. We're going to if there's new items, we're going to grind it out for you. Uh, I'm not I'm not seeing we're destroying forest ships. It's having much of an effect to drawing out this new ship. What do we got here? Yep, yeah, yep. No. Clan Farah Sharpshooter. That's not the new warship. But the best way to queue a warship is to just destroy anything and everything that they have. I, I thought I'd seen something flashing down here. I guess I did not. You want to just tick off the area, basically. Because that's what's going to make me send a warship if somebody's harassing my fleets. And we'll hit their convoys, too. Once you start costing them cash, start costing them a little something, is typically when you're going to get your results in these types of spawns. player there okay so we're gonna point this thing south a little ways what is this watch the throne eels course are known as the a park nope that's not what we're looking for they used to actually spawn in the indies i'm kind of surprised to see it over here so it looks like they've switched some spawn locations around some of the old bounties that's a bounty board mission that you would pick up over at the uh talak panjara bounty board if you're wondering what that is it's a fun one uh, guy spams torpedoes like lapest shoots mortars a lot of fun dodging around that stuff uh, with the group or even solo but this is still to me a, a great game to come in relax on Play it with some friends, play it, play it with Discord communities, you know. Uh, you come in, you just, you, you have a lot of fun with it. And it's nice to find those new players just coming in because you can join up with them and help them in their, their storylines and just get to play back through it. You know, it brings all those, those nice uh, memories back for when you were grinding it out by yourself. And now you get to actually play with people and help somebody out and, and help them learn how to design ships. And to me, that's, that's what gaming is about. Uh, one of the things that I, I want to make sure people understand about the channel, if I have something, you know, that if I say something in a stream that you don't like or a video that you don't like, like if I'm just being real and saying, hey, you know, I wish that they had some more stuff that's feeling stagnant to me, it's not bashing the game. It's giving you an honest review. And the reason I know it's honest review is the, the players that I play with, and even a lot of our viewers are feeling the same thing. And I don't want them to feel like, oh, you know, no, you don't have a right to feel that way. Because everybody has a right to feel the way they do with a game. But we try not to encourage negative, just straight negativity about the game. Because it is a great game. It just needs, needs that aspect to go just that little step further at this point. And I think Ubisoft can definitely pull that off. I, I, I would hate to think that they put as much money into... You know the production of this game and all the hard work that's coming I mean, just look at the coastlines they've put a lot of work into this game I, I i couldn't imagine them just saying oh no we're just going to keep it as a saturday morning you know little little just get on play for a few minutes and hop off type deal i would be hard pressed to see that there's there's still a lot of progression that can be done which means there's still a lot of money to be made on their aspect for this game but they're they're going to have to keep the players engaged to reach that point and the way you do that is through content grinding not necessarily just cosmetics but grinding items that can be upgraded or upgrade items to upgrade existing items so and, and that's a pretty easy aspect to introduce it's in every MMORPG game you, you will ever play so it's nothing new it's just something that hasn't been released yet and that's kind of what we're looking at waiting for. Okay, we see some ships up here. Campany Royale. 
Guys, so in an attempt to keep this video short, guys, I am going to go ahead and tell y'all, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you check out our playlist. Uh, we do have ship builds in, a, in its own category and have been putting the skull and bones type update materials and stuff like that and, you know, just re regular gameplay tips and hints in the game. Those are all going to be located in the skull and bone folder as well. So definitely look around for that stuff. There should be... If you got questions on the game, there should be some sort of answers in there. Or comment in, because I love to get in and, and help any way that I can as far as answering your questions. But uh, right now, once you once you reach end game, guys, my suggestion, you stack as many eights as you can. Get the blueprints. You need. Don't just settle for just a level two weapon. Get those blueprints. If you're dropping weapons in the... Uh, in-game content through those new locker or stronghold boxes that's great but get those blueprints because what's going to happen in this game is you're going to be able to upgrade weaponry eventually unless you want to be moving the same three or four weapons from ship to ship to ship to ship you're going to want to be able to have a quick response to switch from a sandbuck over to a healer or from a sandbuck over to a healing class battle or a battle bark as we call it or even to a brigantine without having to move your gear around. So those are some great aspects to give you something to do while you're waiting on the, the new content to arrive. And when I say new content, I mean new progression content. They can they can throw a lot of new, really cool bosses in here. That's great. It gives us something new to do. As long as they don't forget the, the, the major player base of an RPG is the grind player who looks to progress their character. And I believe that Ubisoft is aware of this. I think that's what we're seeing right now is some restructuring in it. In case you missed those announcements, they've been getting rid of some employees, man. So uh, while I hate to see people lose their jobs, if they're, if, if they're responsible for some of these great titles Ubisoft has put out, as far as the reason that they didn't last more than a couple of months then yeah i can see why he'd be soft slaying them off i mean it's a great company they've always made awesome games for those who played the division i loved that game man uh division two i didn't really play i don't think maybe a little bit but i didn't really get into the pvp aspect of it but the uh far cry primal loved that one uh, another great game that i i played when i was on uh ubisoft plus was that avatar uh Pandora, what is it called? Frontiers of Pandora, I think. Man, that was a beautiful game. Uh, a lot of people were saying that it was just basically just Far Cry Primal remade with the new skin. It, it wasn't by any stretch of the means. Uh, now, if you want to talk about gameplay as far as was it as great as that, oh, absolutely. But there was definitely a lot more to it than, than what people are trying to uh, relay on that. But that's a great game. It, it only had a two-player co-op. So I think that was a turn off to a lot of people. But, you know, if you've only got an extra friend, man, that's another great one to play. And it's coming down in price, too. So that's that's some great aspects there to look at. But I think that Ubisoft is going to definitely get hold of the reins. And they're going to get this stuff back to where it needs to be for the dedicated gamer. Because the gaming market, I mean, you're talking up the trillions of dollars. And they're just barely scratching the, the pinnacle of what can actually be made with this game i believe it's got a lot of a lot of pro, uh, promise to it man it really does so y'all have a great day we will see you each later